Hello everyone. Welcome to Colorful Pages. Today I have with me this beautiful stole which we have made in one of the previous video. The link of this video is there in the description box and also in the i box. Please click and see how you can make one tie and dye stole for yourself. Today I will teach you how to customize your stole by making handmade tassels. You can see these beautiful handmade tassels. Aren't they beautiful? So I will teach you how to make this tassel and customize your stole. So waiting for what? Let's get started. The things required to make these beautiful tassels are firstly this is a silk thread. What we call this? Resham ka dhaga. Yes, the resham ki dori. So this is a silk thread which we are going to use to make these wonderful tassels. I have taken red thread because I wanted to make red tassels. If you want any other color, you can use any other color of the silk thread. I am also using red color anchor thread now I have anchor thread if you have a normal reel like this you can use a normal red reel otherwise you can use like this this is a croquet thread okay crochet ka dhaga croquet thread you can also use a croquet thread of red color for the same now I also want to show you these pearls you no know, these beautiful black and white pearls which I will be attaching to my tassels other than this of course I will be needing needles I need a thread cutter if you don't have a thread cutter you may use a pair of scissors and a very important thing is this cardboard you need a small piece of cardboard the size the height of my cardboard is 8 centimeters why I have selected 8 centimeters because I want a tassel the length of my tassel to be 8 centimeter long so that is why I have taken this size of the cardboard the height of the cardboard to be 8 centimeters if you want longer tassels you may take the length of the cardboard to be 10 centimeters in case you want even longer you may select a 11 centimeter cardboard right and if you want short tassels you can select 8 centimeter or you can select 5 centimeter or you can select around 3 centimeters but 3 centimeters I guess will be too small for me 8 centimeter was just perfect I hope you have understood the length of the tassel is equal to the length of the cardboard all right what we have to do first is we'll take this silk thread and we will hold we can keep it like this if it is not working like this you can take your any bowl I have taken my black pearl bowl and I am keeping this thread here so that my thread is not troubling me okay later on it will dance here and there what I will do with my thumb like this I will hold one end of the thread and rotate it around the cardboard now how many turns right turns if you will take more turns there will be the thickness of your tassel will be more if you will take less turns the thickness of your tassel will be less now what I have done in my tassels I have taken 150 rounds okay so like if I start counting I will count like it is 1 2 3 4 5 now I will not count till 150 okay so that counting will be done in my heart all right but this is around 150 turns so I am just counting in my heart and I am turning it around the cardboard like this and you can also hear the beautiful sound of the pearls <laughs> beautiful sound in the pearls where my thread is there dancing in the pearls so this is the way I am going to rotate this thread on the cardboards around 150 turns I will take 150 155 like this 
so this is the way it is going to be see this is a very easy stuff okay but tassels look beautiful you can make these tassels you can attach it to your kurtis you can make the tassels and attach to your shawls to the caps to the cardigans you can also make these tassels and attach to your bags handmade bags they also look wonderful with the tassels so tassel is another thing which looks great on almost all the things i like tassels on cushion cover also remember the tie and dye cushion cover which we have made in one of the videos i am shortly going to show you how we can do the finishing and stitch the tie and dye cushions and make tassels with wool for the same so this is almost done what i have to do next is i will cut this thread from here so i am cutting it with scissor anything what you can use you can use this or you can use the scissor now keep this thing aside keep it down right and i am taking for this i am taking little thread red thread like this little bit i am taking roughly and i will make a little depression here with my hand in the cardboard like this and i'll put this thread inside it okay here i'll bring it up in one the corner pull it to the corner like this and we'll give it a knot a couple of knot means one or two knot so this is one knot tightly and this is another knot tightly right now we'll just fold it a little this cardboard and take out the thread see we'll hold this up together and bring all the silk thread down the cotton thread will remain up and the silk thread will be pulled down neatly i'm using this crocket thread cotton thread and i'll take a piece of it keep this aside like this keep it neat your red thread hold this edge of this white thread in your fingers and wrap it around like this so i want it to be little more thick so i'm giving some more wrap after this is done just need to have a knot so very neatly make sure that your silk thread is not going with the red one the white one the red thread should not go with the white cotton thread huh? make sure this thing is done neatly and you give it a tie one more tie one more knot is required here like this i think i can make another so around three knots okay and i'll cut the extra white thread neatly if you have fabric glue at home you can put one drop of fabric glue over here now the edges just bring everything down neatly these threads and we'll cut the edges now so i can use this to cut the edges and what else after this the next step is just make it neat with your fingers make it neat like this bring all the threads together and trim to make it straight so 
so my beautiful tassel is ready isn't it beautiful wow i like red color the next step here is i am cutting this extra thread from here too so what i'm doing like this simply you can see that extra bit of thread which was hanging is gone now my tassel is neat i'll take one needle from my box i'll take one needle this needle which i have taken now it is pointed from here and the eye is also big all right i want one thread so i've taken a long thread like this and this is six stand i don't need a six stand so i'm taking two stands like this you take out only two stands if you don't have anchor thread you use normal reel and you can double the length of your thread this is how we do and simply both the edges of the threads see like this both the edges i am bringing together and there is a knot for the thread like this see i made a knot okay neat knot what else i am doing i am just doing like this simple see this is very simple i'll show you again you take the joint this is the joint all right so from the joint just pass your needle in between the threads and now when you come back here see this knot no see you have what you have done you had used two strings so when you have turned and made a knot it became four strings what i am doing now in between these two strings i am passing my needle like this and it came back see can you see easy very easy thing i need some pearls now i am taking one black pearl like this there is a hole here you can see and i will pass it through the needle one black and i will take one white simple see how easy this is just like a child's play there is no hard work see i'll keep this aside and will show you how to attach this in the stool so now is the time to attach the tassel to the edge of the stool but before doing that you can see i have done hemming here because there was a cut here on the two sides this side and two sides this side okay so what i have done i have done hemming over here to seal the edges of the cloth then i have made marks on certain intervals you can see with my hands i have measured this is 1 2 3 4 i measure with my fingers so five finger space i have measured in between every tassel i'll show you how i have attached the tassel you can see this side already i have attached all but on this side i have left two space to make you see how i will attach the tassel this is the tassel which we have made right and how to attach see this is the previous tassel i am folding the cloth till here and there is a mark here you press with your finger and you will get a impression so this is my mark here here i will attach the tassel see with the needle and the thread with the tassel i am just going to pass it pull it like this again pass it pull it like this make it tight right give it one two three four five not exactly five you can take two three four according to your own will but i have taken five right you can also take five like this and then you have to make a knot in this loop you have to pass your needle like this and pull it once more same you will pass the needle through the cloth and you will get a loop like this 
and you will pass your needle through this loop okay needle through this loop this is how you make a knot done fix you have fixed your tassel beautiful tassel in your stone like this only you can do in your dupattas also and cut it neatly so one more i'll show you i'll take out this thread i need some more thread so i'm taking some more thread from here two strings i told you i'm using two strings again i've pulled out two strings and will pass it this thread through the eye of the needle very neatly it is done join both the edges so here i am making a knot i've brought both the edges of the threads together you can see here and i will make a knot and pull it i will take this tassel i have to cut this extra string all right and i'll pass my needle from this bunch of thread here and this side what i will do i told you earlier also where the knot is i am going to open this little bit so you can see two strings this side and two strings this side and you pass your needle through it like this and pull it simple very simple no effort required and this time i will put white bead first this is white bead and then i will take one black bead now the number of beads is up to you you want to add one one each or you want to add two two or you want to add four it is just your will how you want to style your stole what is the color combination what is the size of the beads what is the style of the beads is just up to you so like this simply the edge just take one more once more pull it take four five rounds according to your will see and make one or two knots i suggest two knots like this now you can see this loop is here i am passing the needle through the loop and pull it once more i will do the same i am passing the thread through the cloth pulling and now i am passing the thread through this loop so that there is a knot which is created like this once more i'll just pass the thread through the cloth and i will like cut it neatly see my beautiful tassels how nice they look no i'll show you you can wear the stole and see how nice these tassels are looking and this stole also we made very big the size of the stole we made we used 2 meters 80 cm cloth so that is why the stole is big enough you can you know nicely you can give a nice turn over your neck it will not look small see you can use it like this of course and also if you want like the way i wear my dupatta you can just open it and wear it like this too isn't it looking beautiful how nice you will feel in this self designed self dyed your own customized stole i'm sure you are going to love this and you are going to give it a try right so if you want to make this stole for yourself this is all yours to see how to do tie and dye don't forget to check the link in the description box and in the i box and if you want to design this stole making these beautiful tassel please see this video that's all from my side today don't forget to like share and subscribe the video 
स्टे होम स्टे सेफ स्टे हेल्दी स्टे हैप्पी ऑलवेज